We're going to be doing some random variables and expected value. We're going to still be going into that. But now we're going to be doing some more like table examples. You guys are going to be given a word problem and some data. And then you guys are going to be filling in pieces of the table. And then also uh, solving some problems. I am going to be doing the same example as the last uh, video. Um, just going through how would we would talk about finding the missing probabilities, etc. And then I'm going to be going into an example that was given to me from one of your classmates. So um, this is the insurance company example. So you have a death and disability plan. So you get $10,000 if you die, $5,000 if you're disabled. It charges you $50 a year, which really isn't that bad. Um, is this company going to make a profit? So in order to figure this out, you need to know the probabilities of all the different events happening. So a random variable is a numeric value based on the outcome of a random event. So for example, if you hit the lottery, you get paid. Or if you get a A on an exam, you get like a treat or something like that. So all of these things, that's what a random variable is. So it's a number based on something that happens, right? So we use X to denote random variables, and then we denote its um, value with a little x, okay? So with that, we find that the death rate is one out of a thousand people, two out of a thousand people to be disabled. And then we can make a probability model like this. For example, I did not give you guys the answer for this, right? So like, how could we figure this out if we really wanted to? I only gave you this and I gave you this, right? So I gave you these two. If I wanted to figure this one out, all I had to do is take one, which is the probability of all, this is total probability. Okay, one minus these two things, and one minus 0 0.001 minus 0 0.002. Okay, and that would give me this answer. So. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that so that way we can go on with that, okay? So with that being said, you can figure out the missing tables in the probability uh, column because you know that all prob probabilities need to equal up to one when you take it sum, okay? So now when you go into expected value, that tells you what we can expect to happen in terms of uh, of numerical value to come out of this probability sample given the random variables. Okay, we denote that as E of X. All you have to do to find E of X is you take the sum, which is this summation notation, of X times its probability. So you take the numerical value that's assigned to the probability times the probability, and then you just add them up. Okay, so for this here, what will we be expected to do is take the X column, which is this column, and multiply them by their corresponding uh, friends in this column. So we would take 10,000 times its probability, which is 1,000, and we would take 5,000 times their probability, 50 times their probability, okay? And we find the expected value is equal to 20 when you multiply all of these, one, two, and three, and then you add them up. Remember to do PEMDAS, I had to remind somebody to do PEMDAS uh, recently. So remember to do your PEMDAS. Uh, so that means that the insurance company is expected to pay $20 a year a customer, but they're charging $50 a year a customer. So that means they're making $30 a year a customer, which is pretty good. Okay, now Abdul gave me an example about when he went to BL forever ago. So when he went to BL when it first opened, uh, the sports that were available were basketball, soccer, bowling, and football, okay? So each sport comes with its own expenses. So, for example, like uniforms, gear, transportation, lunches, uh, like eating, things like that. Um, given the following information, so I gave you all the information, how much would you expect the student or parent to spend participating in the sports team, okay? So what you would have here is you would have your outcomes. You would organize them like that, and then you'd have the value, right? I would give you this. I would give you how much it is. If you were designing your own problems, you would fill these in. So what I'm estimating that it costs about this much to participate in each sport overall for the season. And this is the probability that I'm giving you of participation or interest in participation. So for example, we can give this data to 
prospective parents, like for example, like incoming freshmen or incoming freshmen to a college class, right? So for example, if you wanted to play an intramural sport, you would need to pay for all of your own equipment and things like that. And if you're um, certain populations of students that might not be accept accessible to them. So it's things you have to think about, okay? So looking at this example, what we would do is multiply all of these up. So I'm gonna just go ahead and, where's my marker? Uh-oh, I don't know how to make my marker now. That sucks. Okay, well, what you would do then is just multiply. What am I, I'm just gonna write it in. We're, we're winging it now, guys. What we would do is we would multiply each piece. So what I like here is that you can highlight, and I did this for another student, um, highlighting across the columns, like what you should be multiplying. So like, for example, we're going to multiply soccer's value by its probability. So you can do that for yourself. It's a really good strategy. So what you would do is just multiply. We would e of x is equal to. 400 times 0 0.20, okay? And then you would add uh, 250 times 0 0.5, and then you'd add. And 500 times 0 0.5. And what this would do for you is give you the expected value of this specific situation. Now, something to look out for is if the um, table looks different. So for example, in your uh, assignment from last week, your table was uh, horizontal. So it was going the other way. And then you would have to uh, highlight down. So make sure that you're highlighting the value of X and by its probability. So value of x times its corresponding probability. Now, our solution here would be $365. Okay. Now, you have to make sure that you're using the correct units or descriptions here because we are going to be talking about uh, various things. So for example, we're talking about money in this case. So that means that we're going to have dollar signs. Um, I want to make sure that you guys are using the correct unit and like thinking about our problems in the context in which we're talking about them. Okay. You're going to see more examples like this. Please remember that your whole column, your whole column of your probability equals up to one. So if you see a missing box, so for example, let's say that that was gone. The way you would figure out what this box would be is you would take one, whole one, minus 0 0.20, minus 0 0.25, minus 0 0.40. And that would give you the same answer. 0 0.15 was there, 20, 45, 85, 85 plus 15 is 100, which is that 100%. And that's going to be equal to what we had before okay so just be aware of that that's not nothing new you know how to do those things okay please feel free to contact me reach out with any questions comments concerns i hope you have a great day